Hey, what's going on guys? Realm Gaming here. Before we get started, I just wanted to mention some of my socials in the description of the video. If you want to support the channel, please check those out. If you want to support the channel in other ways, please consider just dropping a like or a nice comment somewhere in the video. It really helps the algorithm push our content out there to a broader audience. With that being said, hope you guys enjoy the episode. Hey, what's going on guys? Realm Gaming here. Back into the video. Today's episode, I wanted to do a quick overview of voodoo just sort of a beginner setup guide so this is not going to be like super in depth or anything it's just going to be kind of a quick start guide for beginners who are just kind of getting into healing for the first time or just for people who have thought about trying out voodoo and uh, just kind of want to see what it's all about and one of the main reasons i like voodoo specifically is just how lightweight it is just how easy it is to set up customize it kind of get the ball rolling very quickly and if you have a whole bunch of alts, this is really nice because you can kind of switch in between characters and customize voodoo specific to that one character in a very sort of a quick and efficient manner. So in terms of like setup time, you're looking at around maybe five to 10 minutes per character max versus some of these other UI add-ons that could take, you know, 30, 45 minutes per character. There's a whole bunch of settings. They're very heavy. Um, and it just requires a lot of investment up front to even get the ball rolling on healing. All right, anyways, that's enough of an intro. Let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, so obviously the first thing you're gonna do is go and download Voodoo on CurseForge. It's spelled V-U-H-D-O. Once you get it downloaded, go ahead and uh, just log out of your character or do a reload, and you should have the Voodoo add-on. So once you have the add-on installed, just press enter type slash voodoo options and let me move the doggo out of the way here so you guys can kind of see what i'm typing so slash voodoo space options and you're going to be presented with a panel like this all right the first place i'm going to take you to is the spells tab we'll just kind of work our way across and i'm just going to take you guys through what i use specifically so again i'm not too deep in the settings for the most part i just kind of come in here set some of the basic stuff and then i'm in and out and this character is normally set up pretty quick. So first thing you'll have is when you go over to the spells tab, you'll probably have a bunch of different stuff in here, a bunch of different values. I changed the left button to target and I changed the right button to my dispel. So that's gonna be unique to every specific healer that you play. So you might have to come in here and change that spell um, if you do wanna use the same sort of setup. You also have like button four, excuse me, button four here. You have the middle button here, button five, six, seven, depending on how your mouse is set up, right? So probably by default, and left button is just going to have like a, a random spell and you can set it up that way too you know if you just want to left click on somebody and just say for example have your renewing mist go out you can do that i personally like to be able to target when i left click on things so that's what i set it to and again right click is my dispel so we'll get deeper into dispelling a little bit later but for now that's all i use on this tab now i also mess with the panels tab just a little bit you can go over click panels you can press sizing and what you can do is you can mess with the bar height and width. So as you change the width, right, your bars are a little bit wider. And then you got height here. You kind of mess with that um, to how you see fit, right? Now, another thing I didn't quite cover is if you do want to move this around, you can press up here at the top where it says group one. You got to get out of this really quick. And you can kind of drag this around and you won't be able to drag it around while you're in combat. Just kind of FYI. All right. So that's pretty much it in terms of sizing. Now, one thing that you do not want to gloss over is this tab here called hot icons. And this is where you can come in and set all the heal over time effects that you want to track on your unit frames. All right. I made a couple changes here. Essence font was removed the game. So I just removed that from my slot two, and I just moved enveloping mist up here. But getting back to what we we're talking about renewing mist, right? When I press one, I have a hotkey to one. You kind of see this icon that comes up here that's tracking my renewing miss. And one thing that's really cool about Voodoo is as this starts to kind of tick down, you can see the timer on it. And as it starts to turn red, that means, you know, of course, I need to refresh my renewing miss on this target. Another thing you can do here is change the size of these icons. So you can kind of drag this up and down to make it smaller or if you want to make it bigger, you know, uh, just kind of depending on whatever you want to see. I like it a little bit smaller just because I don't like to cover the names and I don't want to take up too much space. Uh, over the health bars and then you can also kind of change where these icons show up so for example if i press this one here this little uh this little bubble and now i press renewing mist again you can see it's going to be kind of in the middle of the screen and some people like these sort of default profiles here 
where they kind of almost go in a circle around the health frame or around the unit frame, right? So, you know, you can kind of play with that uh, however you see fit. I just like them going horizontally just at the bottom of my bars here. And one of the cool things as well is, you know, of course, this is based on an order system, but you just come in here and you just type in the spell name and it will always know just whatever spell you're talking about, right? So you kind of see it has parentheses H. You don't even have to do that. You can just come in here and type in enveloping mist and then press OK. Put up my enveloping mist and it knows that's a heal over time effect. So this is another thing that you'll have to kind of go in here on a character by character basis and sort of set up these hot icons. It'll try to do it for you by default, but most of the time it's not super good at it. So I just come in here and manually do it. The another thing I like to do is come to this general tab here at the top and you can see I have background and panel border. You can mess with the opacity on this to kind of, you know, if you, yours will probably have some sort of border. But I like to just turn the opacity all the way up on both of these. Right. And I also turn the color up. I can't remember if that actually does anything or not. I don't think it does, but it takes this sort of weird border um, away from from your unit frames here. So you just kind of have the health bars only. And then, of course, the little tab to move it. Personal preference there. Just something that I like to do. And then somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is on beta right now. So I don't think that Voodoo is working 100% correctly, but I believe there's a drop down down here somewhere to where you can change the background of, of your health bars. I'm pretty sure it's under the general tabs. So somebody can correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, but if you are on retail, I believe there is another drop down here. If you want to change the way your bars kind of look just like the general texture of it. So yeah, kind of chilling there. That's pretty much it under panels. Uh, that's, that's all I change and you can go to colors here and there's not anything that I ever change here necessarily, but this is very good to look at. So if a target becomes poison, disease, cursed or magic, this is kind of uh, what the bar will change to. So right now you can see it's kind of green. That's my muck, my muck class color. But if I get a poison effect on me, my entire health bar will kind of turn to this sort of blue poison color. If I get a disease, it'll be this red color. And you can change that if you want. Um, you can just have it be like text only. Sometimes that can be pretty useful because sometimes if your entire party does get a disease effect, all their health bars will turn to this color. And let's say, for example, you know in your head, hey, I'm supposed to be power infusing the warrior and you kind of are going off class color. Well, now all the class colors are the same because this disease effect is covering all of them. And then you're in the middle of the dungeon and you're like, oh crap, which one's the warrior? I don't remember his name because I can't tell by class color anymore, right? Because they're all red. So yeah, just kind of a small rant there, but you can come in here and you can kind of turn off these backgrounds so that that doesn't happen to you. I, for one though, just leave them checked. All right, then very final thing here is if you go to the move tab, you will have, I believe it's called uh, tanks and pets. And I'm a Mythic Plus guy, I don't raid any. So I always press the X remove button, not this X, this X will delete the whole panel. But the little X button down here for the pets column, you know, I don't, for the most part, you shouldn't be looking at pet health bars, right? So I removed that one. And then I also removed the tank one. Personal preference there, you can leave the tank one up if you want, uh, you know, however you see fit. Okay, and then I also think it's very important. Let me go back to my options here. I accidentally deleted out of it. I think it's also important to know what this is going to look like before you even get into a raid or a dungeon. So we have this test button here that says hold the test. And what you can do is you can select your party size. So let's just say we're going into a 20 man raid and you can hold the test. And this is what your frames are going to look like. So here's a pretty good example. So as I'm holding down this button, I can see that Ice Priest here kind of has this purple co looking color, which is different from the Warlock purple here. And one way you can kind of notice that is see how the background's kind of shaded purple here as well. And then also the font has changed to kind of a blue. So I know that this target has a magic effect on them that needs to be dispelled. Then over here on the left, I know that these two characters have a poison effect on them that needs to be dispelled. Now, one thing that Voodoo does not do is it does not show you like an icon. So for example, let's say we have three people we need to dispel here. I don't actually have an icon here to know you know, like, should I be dispelling this person or should I be dispelling this person? Because I don't have an icon to really know what magic debuff is on this person, what disease poison debuff is on this character. So 
Voodoo doesn't do a great job there. Uh, so you can actually download an add-on called Decursive, which will actually put the icon there for you. So that's kind of like a whole, a whole nother thing. But you know, just for now, just know that Voodoo just simply highlights the bars. It doesn't put any sort of icon on there for you. All right, guys, that's going to be my sort of quick start guide to healing unit frames for you know any sort of healer specialization. You can kind of customize it to fit your own needs. But the whole point of this video is just sort of a beginner lightweight guide very easy to get started with something that doesn't have a million different settings and just something that you can quickly set up get into a dungeon and then you know as you play more healer you can pick a different unit frame uh different add-on and and kind of start fine-tuning and customizing things to fit your specific needs so if you guys enjoyed the video please consider giving a thumbs up maybe a comment or a subscribe and we'll see you on the next one